Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we're going to uh, get started into scripting with some of the render settings so we can change some of them autonomously make them faster so if you want to create a script you can actually change all of your settings over here all at once if you wanted to. And we're just going to get a little bit do some of these things like the resolution and how to actually render something so yeah we're actually not going to be scripting it either we're just going to be using the python console here but anything you put in here you can also put in here so we'll do that maybe in a later video uh... we're going to try and keep it short by just doing a couple examples of like resolution x y and percentage and uh... show a little bit of how to render that so let's get started by calling this in it we can either do bpy.data or we know that the shortcut right here the convenience variable for it is just a D so let's just do D dot uh, we need to call a scene so we know we know to get to render we have to have a scene uh, we can just enter this and we see right here BPY collection there is one scene let's find out what that scene is so we can just do at index 0 what is our scene okay we well, you know it's named scene uh, we can either use the name or we can just use zero so let's just use zero so zero dot or I guess brackets zero then let's do render because that's what we're wanting to change right now is our render uh, settings now we can just do for example we have a resolution X right there and a resolution Y uh, if we want to just output them and see what we have which we don't necessarily need to in this situation but to show we can see right here it's going to be 1920. Let's just type in resolution uh, X and voila we have a 1920. Let's now just change that to Y, make sure we got it, we have 1080. Um, now we can do we can just set those equal to something. So let's just say instead of a 920 by 1080 we want it to be 1080 by whoops I think I might have changed that wrong let's do x equals 1080 and let's do a y equals uh, 720 now if we output them we got 1080 by 720 or we can just look over here pretty easy 1080 by 720 it changed in both places well it changed in one place that is referenced by the this and here so now we can also just go ahead and uh, instead of resolution Y we can do resolution percentage we have this modulo sign uh, instead of doing that we can just do percentage uh, yeah it's a hundred percent let's do is equal to fifty we really are downgrading downgrading the resolution of this by quite a bit um, so yeah, that that's kind of how we would go about changing some of those settings. Another one that we probably should look into uh, changing is our render path. You can see right here under output, we have our render path right here, which is right now in our temporary folder. Uh, let's go about changing this. So first off, it's going to be the same setup. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow. Oh, I should have explained that. I've been typing quickly by just hitting the up arrow and it just calls whatever I typed last in or the, the last thing that I entered in uh, up so that's why sorry if it was going a little too fast for you but that's how I do that so let's type in instead of resolution anything let's just do uh, file path uh, it's gonna be for this right here and you can actually if you hover over these things you can actually see underneath in the I would show you with my mouse but it would actually go away if I did but it says first frame of the playback rendering range and it says python scene dot frame start you can actually re reference that as well um, you can do that with any of these so for instance like this output you can see it says directory da 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 da, -da value and then it says Python render settings file path uh, or underneath it says bpy.data.scenes so yeah. then it says file path 
we can reference the file path there. So we know right here dot file path is equal to what should we set it equal to? Um, I'm actually just going to copy a folder. So right now I just made a folder that's on my desktop in a Blender tutorial folder and in scripting. So now I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Whoops. Now this actually won't work but I'll enter it just to show you a little bit what's going on so we can go through because you probably will run into something similar to this in the future. Uh, it says this Unicode error. It's actually really simple. In essence, Blender doesn't like this character right there. <laughs> it wants it the other direction. So yeah, that's all we have to do to change it. Pretty simple. So I just go back. If you copied and pasted it, make sure they're this way. Oops. There is one there as well. Now, if I enter, it likes it, and you can see that it actually updates it right here. That's pretty sweet, because now we can render, and it will save it to here. One other issue, or actually, yeah, there's another issue that's going to come up, but maybe we, as we do it, it'll be good. Uh, if we render it by hitting F12, we can just render our view and it will do it right here and that's that's good but we don't want to just do F12 I'm gonna leave this actually dialog box right here I'll just bring it back up when we render it so let's type in to render things we have to type in BPY or we can just do D dot no we have to use because we're using we can't actually use the BPY dot data anymore we need to render it, which is actually called in a different class. So we should use bpy.ops, which actually might be, no, it's not one of these convenience variables. So we just have to call it. That's yeah, okay, it's not like it's super big of a deal. Uh, but now we just type in render.render. .render. And you can see that it pops up this thing. We need some inputs into our function. It, it has to have them some of them. Uh, mainly this one because it's false. It's just saying write still. Everything's everything's false so it's just not doing anything. It's calling it and it's working but nothing's actually happening because it's all set to false. So if we just change write still to true it should write a still onto our computer which is what we want. So let's write still equals true. Hit enter and it will say finished and if we pull up in this it looks the same but it's just because we haven't moved our camera so just to test this let's move our camera just a little bit and rerun that uh, and you can see let's open let's actually go to our camera so if we write still true yeah there we go and boom it's written the image. Now if I check inside my folder, like I said earlier, it didn't, like there's going to be an error and this is it. There is nothing that happened. And why is that? Well, it's because I actually just forgot to do this. But if we go all the way up to our file path, we notice that it's in the folder, but we have not actually named it. So let's just do image one.apg and hit enter. Now if we render it by that one, bpy.ops.render.render, right still true. There we go. We now have an image. And it's our image. Uh, I hope that this has been pretty good for a tutorial. Uh, a lot of these things you can actually look at and just hover over. And they will tell you, for instance, on this one, we would just call, I said earlier, the frame start, we would need uh, to do bpy.data scenes, the same thing, and just do dot frame start. We actually don't need the render, so we could skip the render dot frame start, we could just get right to the frame start. So some of these are a little bit easier than others as well, but they are all listed in there and we can access them.
So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more, and uh, good luck with any of your Blender projects.